hi guys my name is rohan this is my first video which i'm going to make for azure professional in this video i want to test whether we can register a virtual machine to another recovery services vault while it is already registered to the recovery services vault so yes uh, we are going to test this so first uh, first we'll click on recovery services vault uh, um, you can see that uh, I have a virtual machine that is running called Central India VM and the status is running and if you will see the location is Central India. So I have already protected this virtual machine uh, with a recovery services vault. Uh, recovery services vault is test recovery services India. So uh, we'll click on backup items. We'll go here and uh, you see that we have this uh, virtual machine already backed up and we have the latest recovery point from yesterday so uh, now uh, our aim is to register this virtual machine to another recovery services vault in the same region so i am trying to stop this backup and while stopping this backup i am retaining the data i am not deleting the data i am just retaining the data and uh, we need to select a region for that so i have selected others and we'll type comment the need uh, need to okay need to register in another vault another vault in same region i'll click on a stop backup So uh, we can see that in the notification bell over here that whatever the process we have in initiated it is a stop backup and retaining the backup data for Central Central India VM. So uh, we'll have to wait for this and uh, once this is uh, once this process will get completed I will try to uh, register this VM into recovery services vault so that uh, we'll test whether it is possible or not so looks like it is successful successful operation so now i will move to another recovery services vault uh, this is the recovery services we have we have uh, before that i will so this is the vault in which i'm going to test and if you if you see both are in central india and our vm this virtual machine is also in the central india this is the vm so uh, we'll go here into the vault we'll click on backup plus backup and this is our aim uh, we need to add azure virtual machine to the backup so we'll click here uh, we'll choose a backup policy for now i'm going with a default policy because we are testing it and uh, let's hit on ok so uh, see this virtual machine we have retained the data in the first vault and when we are trying to register it to the another vault uh, this virtual machine is not showing up so you can see there is no virtual machine that can be backed up in this vault so now what I am going to do I am going to delete the data the backed up data from the original recovery services vault and then we will come here again and then we'll try to find the vm so i'm going to recovery services vault we are here we'll go to the uh, plus backup then we'll click on backup items backup items uh, your virtual machine so here uh, we have already uh, stopped the backup of uh, this vm like we have disabled the backup now I'm going to delete the data as well and then we will try to register it to another recovery services vault. So uh, I'm going to delete the backup data. So uh, we, here it is asking for the uh, server name for which we have taken the backup. So I will just keep the server name, we'll put the command, we'll type that testing and then we'll click on delete. So this will take uh, one or two minutes to delete. So we can see the 
in the notification bell uh, stopping backup and deleting backup data for central India VM first one was that uh, if you just below that you see uh, stop backup and retaining backup data so first time we have retained now we are deleting the data as well so as soon as this is uh, process will get completed I will try to register this VM to another uh, another recovery services vault to see that uh, whether uh, it is coming or not so while this is going on uh, let's move to another recovery services vault where we want to test it so here we'll go uh, plus backup our target is uh, your virtual machine and click on backup uh, so I'm just waiting for that delete operation to get completed and once that will get completed I will try to register so while this is taking a little time uh, I cannot do anything I'm not going to pause this video also so just bear with me while this process is going on so meanwhile I, I uh, in my second video I am going to test with uh, uh, Mars agent that is Microsoft Azure recovery service agent uh, same thing like if you, you if you have registered your Mars agent to a, a one recovery services vault and uh, you want to register it to another recovery services vault so whether that is possible or not the reason we are doing uh, this test because of uh, to save some cost for example uh, suppose we have created a vault and that is GRS globally redundant storage so uh, global return uh, looks like this this operation is completed so we'll go to the recovery services vault and we'll click on we are already in the vault in which we want to register our so now you can see that this VM is coming up in the uh, recovery services vault so uh, the take home message from this is that we cannot register unless and until we will uh, delete the original data to the previous recovery services vault and uh, so it is validating the configuration while backup policy and total number of items selected will click enable backup so now this server is registered into the another recovery services vault in the same region so as we saw that we cannot we cannot register the virtual machine unless we will delete the entire data from the old recovery services vault so the purpose of this video was uh, purpose of this video was to uh, uh, to show that uh, uh, if you if you have registered a VM in a global redundant storage recovery services vault and that is costing too much and then we want to change it to LRS locally redundant storage then uh, and both recovery services vault in the same region so this is uh, this is the process we need to do we will lose the backup data and this is the risk Thank you so much for viewing this video and I hope this has been informative to you. Thank you so much. See you again. Bye.